Is it already 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock na ba? Okay. Ate Iron. Hi, good evening. 8 o'clock na. Time for Kwento at Payo. Sige, hintayin natin yung may ibang papasok, ha? How are you today? Hope everyone is had a great day. I had a lot of major harassing day, pero okay lang. Hi, Laika. Again, ako, Laika is always number one. No? So, uh, hi, Francis. Hi, Sai. Okay. Um, siguro, wait uh, 10 more seconds. Then we will, okay, pag maka 100. Okay, over 100, I can start. No? First of all, bago tayong magkwento at payo, I'd like to greet a happy, happy birthday to a very special person, si Matet Cabana, Mami ni Cyril Cabana, uh, dakilang ina, always jolly, beautiful, young-looking, I hope you have many, many more birthdays to come at them, okay? So, happy birthday. Ayan. Oh, so, I didn't forget. <laughs> now, ang, ang gagawin natin ngayon, I'm going to answer some questions from mga um, followers, no? Because, I said, you can ask me questions. Ibang questions, sasagutin ko sa minggita minute. Pero, may mga iba naman, hindi kaya ng one minute. So, I chose some questions tonight, particularly one about the eyes, no? Itong tanong na to ay galing kay Patty Ayrod, A-I-R-O-D, Ayrod, I hope I pronounced it properly. Ang tanong niya, <coughs> posible pa ba po gumaling ang mga nearsighted o habang buhay na kami magsasalamin? That's a very good question. No? Kasi marami nang tatanong kung pwede daw gumaling ang nearsighted, may mga gamot ba para sa nearsighted para gumaling o habang buhay sila uh, magsasalamin. So, ang, first of all, ano yung nearsighted? I have a, isang mahabang kwento at pain ng mga 30 minutes, no? Last July 2021, all about myopia and other eye problems plus COVID. Ipopost ko dito yung link pakatapos itong Facebook Live, okay? So those of you who want to see more na mas maraming oras o mas maraming minuto para manood tungkol sa myopia or nearsightedness, you can go to that. But this one is short now. Itong mata natin, oh, anong nearsightedness, anong myopia? Normal eyes, again, review. Normal eyes, uh, itong cornea natin ay sphere. Itong haba niya, okay, mga maybe uh, 23 millimeters, no? not so long. So, pag bubuksan natin ito, okay, kita ko sa inyo mata. Okay, so itong mata natin, no? pag, pag normal ang mata, pag tumama ang ilaw dahil nakakita ka, no? yung rays niya ay magko-converge dito sa retina. Kung myopic ka or nearsighted ka, mahaba ang mata mo. Kaya, it's longer than normal. Kaya, pagpasok ng ilaw, nagko-converge dito, in front of the retina, hindi dito. Kaya, malabong paningin. Or, kung minsan naman itong cornea, masyadong steep, imbes na ganito, medyo steep ng konti. Ang epekto, ganun din. Magko-converge siya dito, sa harap ng uh, retina, hindi dito. Kaya, malabo. Kung nagsasalamin ka, ang gagawin ng salamin, ipo-focus dito ole yung image. Kaya, lilinaw. Okay? Now, can you cure myopia? You cannot cure myopia kasi ang myopia ay gawa ng maraming bagay. No? It's from the shape of the eyes, the cornea, yung haba ng mata, pwede rin genetic. Kaya lang, may mga paraan na ngayon kung paano mas slow down o mas stop yung development ng myopia sa mga bata. Naon wala eh. Ngayon meron na. So, kunyari, you're already past 21 years old, hindi na lumalaki yung mata mo, you're no longer developing, at nakaabot ka na sa myopia mo as an adult. Unfortunately, walang gamot. The only way to remove myopia is either uh, LASIK. Yung LASIK, yung LASIK, i-reshape itong cornea. Okay? Para ang ifa-flatten siya, para yung ilaw ay dito rin tumama ulit sa retina. Now, masyado, kung masyadong, mat, or pwede rin, ano, uh, PRK, it's also a kind of laser procedure, no? You can look into that, no? Or kung talaga masyadong, masyadong mataas yung grado, hindi nakakayanin ng laser procedures, sometimes sinatanggal itong lens or pinapatungan ng lens sa loob ng mata. So, there are many things we can do now. But, as a child, what can we do para maiwasan yung development ng myopia, yung talagang masyadong maging mataas ang grado ng bata? Ngayon, meron na. Um... We have ano, discovered, the ophthalmologists have discovered, yung atropine, isang eye drop no, na nagdadilate ng pupil. At ito, it is in a very, very low um, 
we call this concentration, ginagamit sa mga bata. Once sa, sa gabi bago matulog, and it can slow down the development of nearsightedness. We have some people now doing this here, mga pediatric ophthalmologists, no? Kung yan, napapansin nila itong bata, no? As early as five years old, dumalaki, tumataas ang grado, like more than one, no? Minyari, uh, 100 lang siya, tapos biglang naging 200 na, no? After a year. Eh, medyo malaka, malaki ang development. They can start them on these eye drops already, atropine at night, no? The idea is para hindi masyadong mabilis o mag-slow down o hindi na tumuloy yung uh, development ng myopia, no? Um, it's quite effective kasi napansin ng maraming doktor no, na nagka-pandemia, di ba? They saw their patients before the pandemic, then hindi sila nakita, pero nire-refill yung mga prescription. Nung bumalik sila after two years, hindi halos nag-iba yung grado. Hindi siya tumaas. Unlike yung mga kamag-anak nila na walang ginawa. Okay? Or other children na walang ginawa. So, it's possible to slow down or to stop the development of myopia kung mahuli nyo ng maaga. As early as 5 years old, nagsisimula na yung mga ibang doktor. Until about 17 years old, 15, 16, 17, okay? Um, so, you can do that now, okay? There are other things that they do, mga contact lens, pero medyo, it's a little dangerous, too risky, no? At least yung eye drops is not so, it's not really that risky. And you can use it at night. And it helps. Not, aside from the eye drops for children, no? Uh, you have to see your eye doctor for this, ah, hindi ito basta basta nabibili sa over-the-counter or sa YouTube or sa kung saan-saan, okay? Dapat doktor kasi kinakalibrate yan, iba-ibang percentage, no? Tapos alam natin kung kailan dapat uh, uh, mawasan, no? If ever, no? Pag lumalaki na yung bata, pag nagsuslow na yung development ng mayroon. But aside from that, one of the reasons kung bakit ang dami-daming tao ngayon, dami-daming bata, dumami ang may mga myopia, mga nearsightedness, is because of the computer work. Because our world is so near. Television, not even television, computer, tablet, computer, cellphone, lahat malapit. At hindi na naglalaro ang mga bata. So one of the best ways to prevent myopia from developing and from developing very fast, no, uh, is to play. <laughs> Encourage your children to play outside, maglaro ng mga games na kailangan yung distance vision nila. Basketball, tennis, whatever, or hambulan, or hide and seek, no? Hanapin mo yung mga kalaro mo, no? Just play outside. That is the best, no? Uh, shout out, Doctora Buhi from Kamsul. Okay, hi. Um, now, so, so aside from the drops, playing outside. So we should encourage our children to play more outside. Okay? So that's one of the ways we can do it. So again, the question is, uh, pwede bang gamutin ang myopia, ang nearsightedness, so habang buhay ka na magsasalamin? Hindi ka kailangan magsalamin ng habang buhay. May mga ibang paraan. May LASIK, may PRK, may uh, intraocular lens implantation, etc. Et Pero habang bata pa, pwedeng simulan na para hindi na tumuloy at hindi na maging masyadong mataas ang grado, especially if it runs in the family. Okay? So it's very important, maaga pa lang, ipacheck up na din yung mga anak ninyo sa doktor. Symptoms of myopia, naging nakasquint. Hindi makakita kung yun ha ganon. Lahil lumalapit sa TV, no? masyadong malapit magbasa, pacheck up na din yan. Baka may myopia siya, baka pwede yung agapan para hindi lumala, hindi masyadong maging masyadong mataas yung grado nila. Okay? Uh, I think that's about all, no? For myopia. Okay? Okay. Uh, there was uh, somebody asked me, no? I think we'll answer lang one question per session para hindi masyadong mahaba. I hope that answered your questions, ha? So, myopia is the shape of the eye, and the length of the eye. Um, cannot be cured, but there are things you can do to slow it down para hindi masyadong maging uh, mahaba yung mata, para hindi maging masyadong progressive. Yes, I'm an ophthalmologist. That's the question of Matthew Villarosa. So, you don't know who I am. I'm an ophthalmologist, no? I'm the founder of the Eye Bank. I've been practicing ophthalmology for uh, decades. So, um, yes, I'm an ophthalmologist by training. So my first topic is this. Although I can answer other topics, no? Uh, for other sessions, baka mag ako ng mga ibang doktor, no? If ever, it's very, very specialized, I can invite another doctor, okay? So I hope I, uh, <laughs> I hope I can, I answer your question uh, well. Si, anong pangalan nga nito? Si... Patty. Okay? So that's my answer to you. Now, 
I hope everyone has a good evening. So, kwento at payo ito. Yung Mingita Minute, again, every week yan, ha? meron. Sana nagustuhan ninyo yung Mingita Minute natin about my husband, Dr. Victor Lopez, and about the first EO I would issue if I were president. And of course, I'm not president, but I hope our president will also do the same. Kasi napakahalaga nitong feel health. Sige ho. Yan na muna ako. Again, happy birthday to Mrs. Matep Cabana. And have a great night, everyone. And at least I hope you learned something. After this, ipopost ko yung link sa YouTube ng um, yung aking ano, uh, kwento at payo noon in uh, July 2021 when I talked about um, nalabo rin yung mata. If nagpali, okay, there's one question. If nagpalaisik, nalabo rin ba yung mata? If nagpalaisik ka, ang lazy kasi will, re- will treat yung sa distance. Sa makakita ka. When you hit 40, ang problema, kunyari, perfect ang LASIK mo, no? nakakakita ka na sa malayo. 40 and above, kakailanganin mo ng reading glasses kasi that's how it is. Unless yung isang mata mo in your sighted or inside for sighted. So, that's the aging process. Sometimes, nagre-regress. Ibig sabihin, bumabalik ang grado. But that's very rare. That doesn't happen much. Especially ngayon na may mga screening tayo na very good screening. Kasi hindi lahat ng tao pwede magpalisik. Kailangan siya screen. Okay. Kasi kung masyadong-masyadong uh, mataas yung grade, uh, very, very high, there are other procedures better to do than LASIK. Okay? Okay. Bye now. Take care all. And until the next Facebook Live or Kwento uh, at Payo or um, what's this? Or Mingita Minute. Okay? So many, many ways that we can communicate. Just keep the questions coming. I will answer them as much as possible. Okay. Bye-bye.